Hello guys, today we are in Milan in Italy in search of masters and PhD opportunities as usual. So if you're new, thanks for joining us. Try to subscribe because I'm sure that you would enjoy the materials, the helpful scholarship tips and opportunities shared on this channel. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Thanks for the support. So as I said, we are in Milan at the Politecnico di Milano in Italy in search of fully funded masters and PhD opportunities. So you know how we do it here. Bring out your pen and paper as we look at these opportunities together. So this is the official website of the master's opportunities the official website of the master's opportunities. I would also be looking at the PhD opportunities as well. So let's begin with the master's. So fully funded master's under of different categories. You have the platinum scholarships, you have the gold scholarships, you have the silver scholarships. For the platinum scholarships, you're entitled to, to 10,000 euros plus tuition waivers, and you can use this to pay your rent and every other fee. For the gold scholarship, you're entitled to 5,000 euros per year with tuition waiver. Why for the silver scholarship co um, covers just tuition waiver alone? I think for the gold as well, there are still some other benefits, I think. We'll be looking at them in details. But before we proceed, there's something called an administrative fee of 200 euros. So this is not the same as application fee. So not, to not, do not um, get it confused. It's more of the amount you pay after you've gotten the position to register your interest. And it's said here that if you're nominated for any of the scholarships, you can use part of your, either your 10,000 or your 5,000 to pay the administrative fee. So I don't think you have to pay that immediately while you're applying but after you've been given admission and a scholarship as well. So this um, scholarship is um, merit-based, so it's based on academic performance. The higher your grade, the higher your, the quality of your application, the more likely you are to get either the platinum or the gold or the silver scholarships. So your results, your academic transcripts, academic performance will determine which category you fall if that makes sense. So there's a document called the call for application. It's like a summary of all you need to know about the scholarship. Yes, this is the document. We'll be looking at this shortly as well. I've highlighted some key dates and key things I think you might want to know. And there are different intakes. The closest deadline is I think the 26th of May. So if you're interested in this scholarship, you want to start working on it as soon as possible because you have, I think, less than two weeks to put your documents together. So if you're interested in this scholarship, as I said, please take time to read through the information. So I get lots of comments in the comment section most times, and I notice that people do not take enough time to go through the information or click on the relevant links. And most times it just came through and ask questions already covered in the detailed document. Please do your own due diligence to make sure you read the document in details because the difference between that candidate that gets the scholarship and the one that doesn't get it is often access to information or how you're able to digest information in the first place. So this first section contains some of the things we've talked about already, but also has like um, a scholarship for Afghanistan students as well. So in case you're interested in that, go for it. And this is the platinum we talked about and the gold we talked about that we saw in the initial website. So let's move forward. This clarifies exactly what the platinum would entail, what the um, gold will entail and every other thing. And also departmental scholarships as well for different um, departments. So these are some of the key dates you might want to know. So I think we are here now when it comes to 
outcomes and selections, I believe. So if you're able to apply by May, by the 26th of May, your results will be out in July. 26th of May, your results will be out in July. That's the outcome of your application. And if you apply in July, I think there's another deadline in July for another intake. So if you apply for July, in July, that's 20th of July, your results will come in December. So there are two deadlines, one in um, May, that's the 26th of May, and another on the 20th of July. So there are other bits of information here, I think you can read on your own. You might be interested in the courses, the different master's courses offered at this university. And I must say that most of the courses here are either in the subfields of engineering or design or architecture, as you can see architecture, design, engineering. Most of the courses here are in that category. So if you're interested in any of them, I think it's best to click on them and check their peculiar applications requirements. For instance, we're interested in design and engineering. School of Design and Engineering. It's also important to go to the particular website of the department you're interested in. Go there and check, because you might just get more information there. So you go there and check and see whether you get more info on the applications requirements and other things that you might want to know about the department. So it's often a good idea, as I said. So do this for your different departments. And as you can see here, this is the two-year course. It's taught in English. I told you the, the um, they call it the venue. You can also check for other course programs and probably admissions requirements as well. So remember, we we'll still have um, for PhDs as well. But deal with this first, see what you have to put together if you qualify for any of these courses. So let's move to a PhD. So for a PhD, these are the eligible courses as well. You can see the list here. And then if you're interested in any of the courses, I think you should scroll down a little. I often found there more information towards the end of the web page. So I went to areas and subjects. So you get like an in-depth in -depth, um, direction and info on each course. So now I just want to check um, aerospace engineering, for instance, and see what it entails and how to apply for the course. So we can look at it together. So this is aerospace engineering. And then you can see the stipend here is 1,400. That's a lot of money. And then the basic info about the course. So if you're interested in this course, this is what you're meant to read and digest and see exactly what you need to do. Some PhD courses already have like particular themes. Why for others, you need to bring in your own theme, if that makes sense. So some courses, the area of research has already been delineated. For some others, you have to bring in your own research. So make that distinction and see whether your department has any of these, because that will determine the kinds of documents you might need to provide. Still lots of info here on how to submit your applications. So that's it guys, masters and PhD opportunities. And as I said, try to engage a little bit more with the different departments and what they're offering. 
make sure you check your own department carefully. You know, you read every information about it, read the application deadlines and things like that. And then also go to the department web page. So in case there's a web page dedicated to the department, try to visit that as well. That might give you like an extra, might give you an extra um, boost. I give you extra information. There are also different materials on my channel already. So in case you need to write some special essays, there are different videos on how to write essays. There are different videos on letter of motivation, statement of purpose, how to write a CV, how to write a research proposal, and several other documents. So also use these materials to your advantage. And um, bye-bye for now. Get to work and we'll see you at the top.